All right, well, sometimes the best laid plans of mice and men don't work out, and this is one of those times. We came to the grocery store with a plan on getting what? We planned on getting a thousand year old duck egg and a dragon fruit. How many of those things were we able to get? Numero zero. But luckily, coming on the motorcycle was part of the adventure, and we have three exotic fruits that we're going to tuck into when we get home, and we'll show you those next. So uh, today we thought that Adventures in Eating was going to go to Asia because we had planned on eating a thousand-year-old duck egg, and we had thought about having uh, some dragon fruit. It was kind of an adventure day today. We shot the BB gun, did some archery, rode the motorcycle, and like so many adventures, things change. So we ended up going to Colombia and not Asia. Colombia. So we got three fruits from Colombia. I don't think they only grow there, but that's this is the, a passion fruit. This one's called a uh, tamarillo or a tamamoro, same thing. And this one's called, do uh, you know what this one's called? It's called... Uh, a granadilla. 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 So Adventures in Eating today, okay, you said it first, okay, is going first is going to Colombia today and it looks like from what we've seen see uh, all three of these like to be eaten with a spoon and I think this is the least exotic so we're going to try this one first this is the passion fruit a little bit of a tough skin but when you look inside of it it has one of the weirdest looking insides um, if you've ever changed a baby um, it may remind you of that all right there you go there's your spoon you ready to try this sucker ready all right that smell, oh, it's, it smells wonderful. Yeah, I like it. It smells like it. almost like, like a smell. perfume. Okay, here we go. It's really like a pudding almost. Here we go. Ready? One, two, three. Oh my gosh. What a unique flavor and texture. Crunchy seeds. What did you like? How did you like it? I liked it a lot. What did it taste like to you? Tasted first, it was a bit tangy, and then it got a bit more sour. Mm -hmm, it did yeah. get a little bit sour. But it's really good and it's got a very unique flavor. It's almost like that's got some melon in there, right? Mm -hmm. And some tomato and some orange and the texture is very unusual. Mm. So, would you eat that again or not? Maybe if we were doing like a remembrance videos of all the videos that we've had, maybe, but not off camera, no. No, is that right? Okay, so that one, I think it would be good for a juice. Okay, so set that one aside. This is a tamamoro or tamarillo, and it also likes to be cut. And from what I can see on the um, internet, it looks like it has a really cool inside. So we're gonna cut it. And uh, it almost looks like a peach colored with a tomato-y pattern. And I'm looking forward to this one, most of any of them. So let's taste that one, okay? So get our spoons in there. And you gotta kinda cut at it, almost like a melon texture. I'm gonna take a whole big bite of that one. Oh my gosh. This is gonna be either really good or really bad. With a lot of seeds, either Just way. get a little buckful, don't split it out. That'll be the one thing that'll be undoable. Un undoable. Got it? Here we go. One, two, three. Wow. It has a tomato flavor, but you know, it, starts it out. smells and tastes. We have a kind of berry here called a salmon berry. Oh, yeah. And it's actually this color, isn't it? Yeah. Kind of this color. And that's kind of what it tastes like to me. Of course, it doesn't have as much flavor when you use salmon berry because they're not as big. But this is almost like you had a whole big honk and mouthful of it. And it has some of the same textures. It's like somebody stopped something with the salmon berry. What do you think? Does that sound like a good comparison or not? Um, not to me. To me, it tastes like a tomato, and then it gets sour, like a ripe tomato. It's like the stages of tomato. Baby yeah. tomato. Ripe to, um, um, unripe tomato. And then it gets to a normal tomato, and it's ripe then. And then... I like the, the outside part, the pulpy part. All right. Ready to try our third one? Yeah. Okay. Mm. Oh, so how does this one rank compared to that one? Um... This is about maybe a three. This is about maybe a four. So you don't like this one as much. Okay. No. Now this is a granadilla. And we saw on TV that you can actually open them without a knife. So we're going to try that. So you want to try it? Mm, sure. Okay. You saw what they do. Yeah, put that down. Don't worry about it. Okay. Here we go. Give it a whack. Don't wreck the table. There we go. 
Now, you can just get a little whack in there and that gets your thumb in there. Nicely done. You got a perfect spot in there for our thumbs. Ow! Ah! Joking. <laughs> oh, it's one of those grenadilla worms you hear so much about. Oh my gosh, is that ever weird? Take a look cool. inside at that. It looks like the papillae on the bottom of a starfish are grabbing on to something. They do look almost like the eggs of something. It's quite, oh yeah, true. Quite pulpy in there, isn't it? You ready to try some of these guys? Ready. Get the spoon oh, out again, let's try it this. It feels weird too. Oh, it does. It is not, it feels spongy and. I like it. It feels like an alien. Would you, you would imagine an alien feeling. Okay, here we go. Mmm, best of all three. Mm -hmm. I like it. You don't like it? What is it that you don't like about it? The way it feels? You're killing me here. <laughs> it's like peach. No, how did, why, you didn't like it. Why didn't you like it? It just tasted interesting. But did, what did you think of the texture of it? It, that wasn't the worst part for is me. Is that right? It is kind of a slimier texture. It has like coral on the sides. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, I really like it. And I the just seeds, like to touch it. You know what I really like? To touch the it? seeds are not too hard. They're almost like eating like a, a cheesy or something like that. Did you notice that? The texture of the seeds? Less cheesish. <laughs> More grossish. All right. Well, adventures in eating is done for this time. Out of the three, which one would you uh, say is the best? Probably that one. The passion fruit. The least exotic, and it's the. Really? And any of them you'd have again? Probably the passion fruit. If I had to, if I had to choose between the three, I'd probably have passion fruit. Well, I guess uh, six dollars worth of fruit. That's what this costs for these three. It's going to be eaten entirely by me or by camera woman mum, but. Uh, we're out for now. Don't be grody. All right. Cheers. Clink.